Hey guys, so we're here with our final episode on throat chakra alchemy. Today we're going to talk about wisdom. The throat chakra, if you compare it in other esoteric arts, it's connected to a bunch of deities that have to do with wisdom, the afterlife, creativity. We know that all these other properties that go with the throat chakra of authenticity require some level of being real with yourself, right? And when you're real, real with yourself, you learn lessons and those lessons bring wisdom. And that wisdom helps you grow into a new being altogether. The throat chakra is also connected to a lot of 5D energy. So in the 5D realm, a lot of archangels exist. And we know that archangels come to earth to help people kind of like find the guidance they need to move forward, right? So when we're using the throat chakra in all these other formats, whether it's tackling the shadow or finding our authenticity, we're automatically building the wisdom aspect of our throat, okay? The only way you really build a lot of that wisdom is through practice of everything else that I've given you, okay? So what I want you guys to do is take a deep breath. <sighs> Relax, we're in the same room together right now. We're chilling, right? We're in the present moment. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick drill. I'm gonna walk you through everything that I've given you through this Throat Chakra Alchemy series. And we're gonna do it into a massive mini meditation. It's gonna take us just all like seven, eight minutes, okay? We're gonna start off by focusing on our intuition, right? We're just gonna let our intuition open. We're just gonna ask it to open. You're just gonna give into it. This is gonna be a speed test so you don't have time to like waste and fall into like this nice comfortable zone. Just set it and forget it. My intuition is open. I'm gonna work with my intuition. Great. Deep breath. I'm gonna let my shadow become something that I'm going to look at right in this present moment with the highest level of authenticity. We're spell casting, saying what we want. We're summoning the shadow, bringing it out to the front, and we're using the spell cast to say that we're gonna authentically look at the shadow and deal with it. Take another deep breath. So now what I want you to do is I just want you to do the hum. I want you to do hum three times. Hum. The first time you might have felt it around this area. Now the second time I want you to do the next hum, vibrate it across your body. Hum. The third one, you're gonna vibrate it all into your environment. Hum. The fourth one, we're gonna vibrate it on all of those levels at the same time, on the internal, through our body, in the environment, all at once, ready? Just set the intention and just do the hum and give yourself to the expansion. Hum. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna ask yourself a question that has been making you question yourself or something in your shadow that's been bothering you. If you don't know what it is that's in your shadow yet, just say, I'm gonna let go of something right now that's in my shadow, regardless if I need to understand it or not. Deep breath. You're gonna feel some sort of tension happen somewhere in your body. For me, I feel it at my legs, at my feet. Okay, so in that area, I know that's where my shadow is hiding right now. You might feel it up high, you might feel it somewhere else, you might feel it in your soul, you might feel it in a chakra. That's where there's a shadow that's most immediate, okay? So you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna give yourself to your body and you're gonna tell your body, hey, I wanna get rid of this energy that is trapped within my DNA. Because your throat chakra also controls your DNA, all right? And then you're gonna let you're gonna let the energy course out of you and you're just gonna give yourself into your body. So you're gonna notice that your body is gonna start swaying or your body is gonna start twitching or you're gonna feel like you need to cry or breathe. 
and then you're gonna feel energy circulate out your body deep breath if you feel like the energy is not moving quickly enough you're just gonna do the hum hum It's really important that while you do this, you have this level of authenticity that you're just like, I'm over it. Whatever this shadow has, I'm over it. Just like when you're over an ex or you're over a show because it's disappointed you and it's become predictable. Just like when you've gotten over a dish because it just tastes nasty, all right? And you just, mm, I'm gonna throw it away because I can't fathom another bite. That's the same vibe that you have to have when it comes to healing your shadow. You can't give your shadow any level of compassion when it comes to like, hey, I need to let you go. Like, will you leave? No, it's rather you love the, your, your shadow entirely, which a lot of people have a hard time doing because it, it requires a high level of truth or you start flushing your DNA of the shadow and that's gonna funnel its way out. Either way, you're not doing you're not doing anything negative if you're just flowing the energy out because you're just cleansing yourself. It's like a detox. And remember, the 7% of your body that always gets transmuted and shifts energy. So you wanna get in the flow of using your consciousness to flush out your shadow. If you can do this every day and you're authentic and you feel that realness, like do it with me right now, do the realness. I don't want this shadow, like it doesn't matter what it is, I don't want this shadow in my vibration anymore. Not my body, not my ancestors, not my descendants, not my environment, not the collective consciousness. I'm over it, bye, bye. And you'll feel your energy expand. You'll feel yourself kind of like flush something out of your system. You might feel like you gain more energy because your shadow is a weight, all right? And it's a separation. So if you can flush out the shadow, like you would flush out, you know, of a heavy night of drinking alcohol, right? If you treat it the same way, you're going to be able to then stay at a higher vibration. And with time, if you stay persistent with it, whatever gets flushed out of your system will, won't be able to keep up. Maybe you're flushing out a battery that this, that's this wide. If you do it every day, it starts going down and every day it's gonna try to fill up, okay? Remember the, the shadow video I showed you. But if you can go ahead and say, hmm, no, I'm gonna flush, 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 flush. Every day is gonna try to climb and it's just gonna be pushed back down, all right? And eventually there's no more shadow that you have to deal with. You wanna practice not only doing this technique, but also doing some loving techniques with your shadow. This is a quick meditation that was, you saw how easy it was to flush something out. You know, it was just all about setting the intention, being real about it, giving yourself to it, understanding that these components are all things that you can use all at once. You can separate your shadow at any moment. You can be real about your intention and state, state that it's going to be only authentic and then flush your system. All right, and this, I hope, is going to help you a lot. Share your comments on the little comment section below because I want to hear how you're using this, what you thought about this meditation. Share it with your friends, tag a couple people, and I will be seeing you in our next episode where we might do one more of these meditations that are a little bit more heavy, but we're going to start diving into the third eye and your psychic abilities. All right, this is Sending Master Antihai.